Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 537. NASDAQ is up 344. S&P's up 76. Gold, gold contract down 520, starting at 17.89 an ounce. We have silver up 22 cents, 22 dollars 50 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Where are you? Light sweet crude. Yeah, caught a bit. Up 276, trading 7137. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading 13020. The 30 year off a full point at 16030 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now down 68 ticks, trading out at 96483. The euro is at 11282. The yen is at 11409. And the British pound is at 13263. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? This is going to be a nice setup, man. We got a trader's market here, folks. And so what we had out here is this. Yesterday, rejected lower price. Had lighter volume as you went against the swing. Okay, so what you have here, we had the swing that's laying out here at 137 million, 132 million, and uh, 127. So we come into that yesterday with 107. You rejected lower price. Now... What do we do today? You got a nice bounce going, okay? Look at the contraction of volume, monster, man. You're at 49 million. So my take is that we are gonna go right back top side again. You know, we'll see whether we test the lows of the highs. Uh, the SPY, I'm figuring, you know, we're dealing with about 467. Right now, you're at 462, the high is 473. I don't think we'll hit the high. Most times when this happens, folks, what you get is this, you get Another acceleration up. You'll have another contraction of volume. Let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is setting up really nice, man. So let's, let's pitch. After a, big, after a big day like today, okay, you can, you can pitch, and more, more than likely what will end up happening is that uh, you might go a little sideways tomorrow. They'll jam it. So tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, perfect. Thursday, you jam it higher. We go away for the Christmas holiday. We come back next week. Goes sideways, tries to mess around with the top here, and then January, uh, whatever day we come back to work, uh, I suspect that we're going to have that. That had brought us, we were, we were at the uh, top of the range, and I suspect coming January, you're going to be right back downtown. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. What do we have with the NDX 100? You have the exact same setup inside the NDX. The NDX right now, we're at 388. Uh, bottom line is that this can get up to 400. Uh, that's how this is shaking out. Thursday is a full day. Uh, Chris, yeah, because the markets are closed Friday. Uh, this week, next week, we don't get anything. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract traded down to 1785. We're at 1789 right now. Uh, bottom line, we'll see how this baby shakes out. You know, my, my take is we're going a lot higher, but it's, it's a struggle. There's no two ways about it, man. Uh, this thing's just been messing around, and this has no doubt to the U.S. dollar because the dollar, folks, is hanging at highs and looks that, you know, this high can be basically blown away. You know, right now you're at 96,478, and we've been up here for three weeks thus far, uh, three trading weeks. So it's pretty wild, man, and we'll see if... Uh, in fact, it wants to break out or break down. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Okay, so you got Apple up 290, Carnival's up 169, Micron, big number, up, up, uh, that would come up with numbers. They come up with, they're up 812. You have uh, Nvidia up 12 bucks, uh, Uber Technologies up two, Tesla's up 34, Microsoft's up seven. Uh, well, what's intriguing is that here, watch this. A-A-R-K, <laughs> I had asked Dave Mazder about this yesterday, and he didn't answer the question, but cause just because he's a competitor, I guess. Um, well, it, it, anyway, Kathy Wood, uh, bottom line, they just, had, they just came out with a, um, a new statement. Uh, I'm sure that her, her compliance department said, hey man, you can't 
tell people that you're going to compound 40 percent a year to try to collect money. So the bottom line is that, um, let's see, uh, that's the one in deep value. Let's see. No, nope, this is the one from yesterday. The, she right before I get on the air, I got to find this. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I, she just came out with a well, actually, eleven thirty this morning. She came out with a new statement, and the new statement is revising uh, the statement that uh, she thinks that ARC was going to go up uh, forty percent compounded per year for five years. So, let's see. Uh, please note that ARC revised the statement from its original version to clarify, clarify any misconception in the marketplace. The footnote says adding that the statement is based on Ox research, current views, assumptions, and is not a guarantee of future results. Forecasts are inherently limited and cannot be relied upon. Uh, <laughs> and even after the clarification, would still predict 30 to 40 percent annual rate of return during the next five years for Ox strategies. Now, when you go to the bottom of this, right, this is pretty wild, man. Um, okay, so she has nine funds. Six are actively managed, three to track indices, and there's only one fund this year, which is the 3D printing ETF that's currently in the post and positive res results. So that's pretty intense, folks, okay? Um, because of the fact that, of course, you know, the market's up, and so folks that are definitely investing in that are going to be saying, okay, what is the problem here, man? If the, if the market's up and we don't have, uh, and we're down. And it's, 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 it has it, let's put it this way, on her main fund, that's the only one I was really looking at, the AARK, um, she, still, she still has net positive cash coming in it, you know, and that's crucial so she can buy more of the same stocks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 556, you get the NASDAQ up 335, SP's up 76, stay right there folks, we're coming right back.